Dunkirk. Hi, welcome to the recap room. In today's video, we'll be talking about a war action film based on a true story entitled Dunkirk. Warning, spoilers ahead. The premise of the film is set in the 1940s, where the German invasion of France caused Allied soldiers to retreat to Dunkirk. Thousands of soldiers stand at the beach and wait their fate while waiting to get evacuated. Now the scene opens with some British soldiers roaming the streets of France. Suddenly, they are attacked by German soldiers and everyone starts running to take cover. All the soldiers get shot, but a young man, Tommy, manages to jump the gate and gets to safety. He reaches a corner and finds another group of soldiers shooting at him. He tells them he's British, so the soldiers stop shooting and call him. Tommy safely gets past the barricade and arrives at the beach, where thousands of Allied soldiers are waiting for evacuation ships. He now goes to a secluded place to empty his bowels, but stops as he sees a British soldier burying someone nearby. The man's name is Gibson, and Tommy helps him bury the man. The two exchange a look of sadness and grief, and then join the rest of the soldiers. Suddenly, the beach is attacked by a group of German fighter jets, and countless soldiers die once again. Many soldiers get injured too, so Tommy comes up with a plan. He and Gibson pick up an injured soldier on a stretcher and use it as an excuse to cut the line. They make it all the way to the front, where are denied entry, as that ship is only for the injured. Now, instead of going at the back of the line, Tommy and Gibson hide under the mole, so they get on the next ship quickly. Now the scene changes to England, where the Prime Minister has requested all the citizens to give their private boats to the government, so that the soldiers at Dunkirk can be saved. A boat owner, Dawson, doesn't give his boat to the government and decides to rescue the soldiers himself. He and his son, Peter, along with the boy, George, begin their journey to Dunkirk. Sometime later, they find a wrecked ship in the middle of nowhere with a soldier sitting on it. They rescue the shivering soldier and he tells his story. He was on one of the rescue boats, but their boat crashed and he's the only survivor. When he gets to know that the boat is heading to Dunkirk, he gets scared and requests Dawson to not go there. However, Dawson and Peter are adamant and want to rescue more soldiers. With no other option left, the soldier tries to take control of the boat and gets into a fight with George. He accidentally pushes him and George gets a deep wound in the head. Peter takes good care of George, but he has lost his eyesight due to the wound. However, George is only feeling proud because he always wanted to do the right and courageous thing. His dream is to appear in a newspaper and make his parents proud. Meanwhile, Tommy hears three senior officers saying that they cannot possibly save all the soldiers, so some would be left on the beach to die. Then, as soon as the hospital ship starts leaving, the German fighter jets attack the area, so soldiers are forced to jump from the ship. Since Tommy and Gibson were already at the mole, they save a soldier from being crushed by the ship. The soldier's name is Alex, and the three now stick together. The hospital ship then sinks completely, and the remaining soldiers swim toward the shore. In the evening, the three luckily get on a British warship. Tommy and Alex go to the main area, whereas Gibson goes downstairs for some strange reason. Tommy and Alex get to eat some food on the deck while Gibson is out, shivering in cold. Suddenly, the ship is attacked by a torpedo from underwater, and water starts to flood in. Panic spreads across the ship, and Tommy and Alex are trapped underwater. Gibson opens the door and saves both of them from drowning. All of them then somehow make it to the shore and lay down to fatigue. After that, Tommy and others lose all hopes and accept their fate. They cannot think of any other way to escape Dunkirk and just sit on the beach. Later, they meet some soldiers from Scotland and stick with them. Then, they came across a ship on the shore and tried to think of a plan to get it into ocean. All of them get inside the ship and await their fate. A guy tells them that they may be able to push the boat into the ocean during the high tide and high tide comes on the beach only twice a day. Suddenly, a bullet passes through their ship and everybody gets scared. Many bullets pass through the ship, but luckily, no one dies. Turns out, German soldiers were only practicing their aim and didn't know that soldiers were inside the ship. Now, during high tide, water starts flooding in through the bullet holes and no one knows what to do. Everyone starts giving their suggestions and opinions. Suddenly, Tommy realizes that Gibson has not said a word since he met him. He gets suspicious that Gibson is a spy and tells him to speak English. Here, it is revealed that Gibson is indeed a German soldier. The soldier he buried in the beginning was a British soldier, and Gibson wore his clothes as he knew that British soldiers would be the first ones to get rescued. Everyone wants to hurt him, but Tommy stops them 
and tells them that despite being a German, he's only trying to survive. The ship starts to drown in water, so all the soldiers escape, but Gibson's legs is stuck in some chains. He's unable to get out in time and dies on the water. Now we see three British fighter jets summoned to save the ships at the beach. A British pilot shoots a German bomber and takes it down, but one of their jets gets hit too and it crashes into the water. The British man in the crashed jet is unable to get out of his seat, so he uses his equipment to break the glass. Mr. Dawson's boat happened to be just there and they attempt to save their countrymen. Meanwhile, only one British jet remains in the air, trying its best to destroy enemy planes. Later, Tommy and Alex find another British ship and get into it, but it gets bombed by another German plane, so they are once again trapped on the beach. However, their hope reignites once again as Dawson arrives there to rescue them. Alex and Tommy, along with other soldiers, aboard the boat and make their way towards their home. There, Dawson doesn't get close to the destroyed ship as a lot of oil has spread on the water. Then we see that a lot of boat owners have arrived just like Dawson to save their soldiers. On Dawson's boat, it is revealed that George didn't survive the head wound. But Peter and Dawson doesn't tell this to the shivering soldier because it was unintentional. In the end, the last British pilot lands his jet because he's out of fuel and then puts it on fire. He's arrested by German soldiers and the scene ends there. Then, the soldiers from Dunkirk reach England, where people have gathered to welcome them. Although they didn't win the war, their courage and bravery will be forever remembered. On the other hand, Peter reports George's story to the media and George appears in the newspapers as a brave boy. His dream is fulfilled after his death and his parents are really proud of him. 300,000 soldiers were ultimately rescued from Dunkirk but commanders and officers stayed at the mall to save the French soldiers. That was it for the recap guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you are notified on our next uploads. Thank you for watching.